Good morning, Crystal from the Rain Dance Ranch. So one of my goals this week is to go through this pantry cupboard thing that I've got going on here. I've got a lot of stuff and everything, all of my preps are just sort of like almost quite there. Like not 100% completely. I did have a year's supply of toilet paper and I might be able to utilize what I have here. This is actually paper towels. Uh, I ended up using several of my toilet paper containers. I gave some to somebody who was in a bad situation and, and I was just like, here's some things to help out for now. So I sacrificed one of my toilet paper things and um, one of my, uh, and then I've been using some and I haven't been replenishing what I've been using over the last two months anyways. I mean, I probably went through one of these containers over the last month. And I got roommates that use the toilet paper so it doesn't last that long. If it was just me, it would last a long time. But, so I've got a problem. I'm going to try to go buy a couple more of these. So, yeah, that's my goal right now is to kind of assess where I'm at. I, I don't use a lot of the stuff out of here frequently, but from time to time, I'm like, well, I need something, and there it is in there, and then I go grab it, and I've got my cans in order, so I can, if I use a few cans from my four-month supply, then I can easily see, oh, I used two in it, two or three cans of this and that and the other thing, and so whenever I go grocery shopping, I make sure to replenish those um, and then I always try to get more cans that I expect to actually use but I do go into my stores from time to time and uh, uh, that's kind of an issue that you might run into so you want to think of ways that you can deal with that and um, and the best way to do that is to have your stuff organized so you can visually see, oh, there should be one more thing of toilet paper there because I had to break into that for some reason. Um, so I just think right now is a critical time to make sure not to use up your stores <laughs> once you get them. The idea is that you get your stores and you plan not to use them like money in the bank that you don't touch. So you have to constantly still be by keeping up with your regular grocery shopping for what you're going to use that week. Um, and so that's why this needs to be organized. Like in this box, there's a lot of dried stuff like quinoa and pasta and beans. And then I've just got all this other stuff in here that I just, I need to put another shelf in or have a bunch of stuff in a box down here and then uh I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I did also just recently get a bunch of free stuff somebody gave me all these shampoos this is a whole box of shampoo and I got a bunch of these soft soaps and these refills so a lot of this is going to go in my bug out stuff, which is what I'm going to be working on soon as well. But with all that said, in addition to all of my stuff that I now need to get it organized, I need to shore it up is the way I think of it. I've got all kinds of other things I need to shore up, like my water collection system. I have stuff to make a composting toilet and I just need to sit down and actually do that and then there will probably be a hinge or something I need to get. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Um, I've got a bunch of building materials and some hardware I might be able to use but invariably you get into little projects like that and you're ending up down at Ace Hardware <laughs> to get something. So I need to actually get my composting toilet done. I was gonna do it several months ago, 
or before I had gotten everything several months ago. And then a friend of mine was like, well, I'm going to buy you a composting toilet because I had helped her with her garden and that was how she was going to help me. And, um, she ordered it. So I just kind of put off making my homemade one. <laughs> And it turns out that they don't have them in stock and sh we still haven't gotten it. And it was like two months ago that she ordered it. So I'm like, I better make one up now. And thank God I have like a toilet seat and I have some wood and, you know, stuff to make it with. <laughs> um, and I've got tons of buckets and that kind of thing. So uh, that's another thing I need to work on in my outdoor kitchen. I've got a ton of stuff for that, but I need to get it all built. And I've still got shade structure I need to work on and I wanna expand my garden. So I've got all of these things started and I feel real good about how far I've come. But now I'm in the home stretch and I still need to continue to purchase more food and, um, and uh, work on my bug out bag and I want to set my SUV up as a bug out. So I don't know where you're at, but I'd love to hear where you're at with your uh, preps and um, leave a message with any tips that you've uh, kind of figured out that work good for your situation and uh, maybe somebody hasn't realized something and could benefit from your tips uh, down in the comments. I think it's always important to comment on all of the prepping videos with any tips that you have to share with people about prepping. There's all kinds of little things that I have learned after watching somebody's video, I'm like, oh, I got this. And then I go through the comments and I get two more little good tidbits of wisdom. <laughs> so we're all in this together. Uh, good luck, everybody. Crystal from the Rain Dance Ranch. When it rains, go out and dance.